guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x. And this is all equal to 3. Now, 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x. This is, well, if we have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of m, this is going to be a to the power of m plus m. And a to the power of m plus m is equal to a to the power of 2m, right? So 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x, this is going to be equal 3 to the power of 2x. And now if we multiply this by 3 to the power of x again, 2x plus x is 3x. So we have 3 to the power of 3x. And if we have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this can be written as a to the power of m to the power of n, or it could also be written as a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, I'm going to write 3 to the power of 3 of x as 3 to the power of x to the power of 3. So now we have 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 over. Now, 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x. This is simply just 3 to the power of x times 3. And remember, when we're dividing exponents, we subtract. Well, first of all, 3 to the power of x times 3. This is equal to 3 to the power of x plus 1, right? Because when we are multiplying exponents, we add the exponents, and 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. And this is still over 3 to the power of x to the power of 3. And now, when we are dividing exponents, we simply subtract the exponents and keep the base the same. So in this case, this would be 3 to the power of 3 x minus x minus 1. So now we have 3 to the power of 3 x minus x minus 1 is equal to, remember, 3. And 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. And now that our bases are the same, this means that our exponents are the same as well, meaning 3x minus x minus 1 is equal to 1. Now 3x minus x is 2x. And if we add 1 on both sides, we get 2x is equal to 2. And this means that x is equal to 1. So this is our answer. Yeah.